here from the Joy Fit Up. Thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I have a bonus video for you because today is my first post as a full-time member of the Crafty Elves. So if you remember last year, I was a guest designer and Michael reached out and asked if I wanted to participate and I said yes. And he's reached out again and asked if I wanted to do this every month and I said, heck yes. <laughs> Hello, I love Christmas. So on the 25th of every month, you will not only be getting a video and a card from me, but you'll also be getting video, not videos, you'll also be getting projects from the other members as well. All of their information is listed in the description box down below because I don't want to say the wrong thing and be mad at myself because I said the wrong thing. <laughs> so all of, all of the information will be listed in the description box down below. So in today's card, I have a poinsettia shaker card. This card kind of came about because of the card I made, um, the one stamp three ways from MFT. And I had cut out a couple of little pieces of the poinsettia die from Queen and Company. And I had that on my um, desk and I was like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I am. I get an idea in my head. So I actually already made the background for this and didn't use it, but it turned out to be absolutely perfect. So we are making a card with non-traditional colors. There's magenta, there's purple, there's turquoise, and our neutral of choice this time is going to be copper. And I am absolutely love how this card turned out. So don't forget to check out everybody else. They are listed in the description box down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me over on Instagram. I'm at the Jolly Fed Elf. And without further ado, let's head over to the craft table and we'll get started. So I'm going to start this card by using this quilted A2 cover plate from Honeybee Stamps to emboss this copper piece of foil paper. Doesn't this just turn out to be the most beautiful thing ever? It's so pretty. Okay, so here is most of my stash of glitter paper. I have all sorts of glitter paper. Some of it was sent to me, some of it I've purchased, some of it's die cuts with a view, some of it's from Simon Says Stamp. I really do have kind of all colors and all paper. So what I wanted to do, excuse me, was have three different colors within each color group. So like three pinks, three different purples, three different blues. And that's how I kind of end up getting my color palette. And then I just made sure that whatever, <laughs> whatever scrap piece of paper I had left, the die cuts fit. So um, since this was a bigger piece of paper, I went ahead and used the biggest one to cut that out and um, the smaller ones to cut out the other petals. So, and I'm going to do that for all three of the color ways, I guess you could say. So I have three pinks, three purples, and three turquoises. And this was a little challenging to get it to stick because um, the glitter paper, it doesn't want to stick with um, washi tape. So all I did was make sure that I got the washi tape to go behind the um, paper and, and, and I didn't do a very good job of showing you here, but <laughs> if you kind of make it go on the slick side of the paper, it works a little bit better. So here you can see that I have the one that's going to actually be on the shaker. And then these two are going to be in the center of the shaker. So I don't know, I couldn't find on the Queen and Company website, a, a, excuse me, a sample of the one using the poinsettia because I was like, well, at the end, because you can't really even really see the shaker part of it because the petals are in the way, but I like how it turned out anyway. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too mad about it, but it was a little daunting. Also a little daunting was figuring out <laughs> which way which way these adhered on the foam because I was like I cannot be this like 
clueless. What in the world, Misty? It took me longer than I care to admit to get the pieces adhered to the foam. And so the only one that's going to be a shaker is the pink one. The rest of them are just going to be solid, um, solid flowers. So for that reason, I went ahead and cut out a solid flower um, of the, or used the inside of the outline of the blue one and the inside of the outline of the purple one, hopefully that makes sense, <laughs> to create the, the three different flowers. So only the pink one is actually a shaker card. The other two are just dimensional flowers. So for the pink one, I wanted to make sure that I had pink paper to adhere it to. So I just used the outline dies to cut out a piece of pink. And here, here I go. <laughs> here I go. I finally figured it out. It took me forever to get it on, then to get it straight, and then to keep going. I was like, I don't, what? <laughs> it was so bad, so bad y'all. But I'm really pleased with this card. Like, this is probably... One of the only ones so far this year that have been more on the elegant side rather than the whimsical. See, I played 50 card pickup with the snowflake sequins and it took me two hours. <laughs> Rob's like, why are there little gold sequins all over our carpet in our master bedroom? And I'm like, oh, uh, don't ask. So once I got all the shaker bits in there, I'm going to go ahead and add the acetate and then we're going to adhere the um, outline of the poinsettia on with liquid glue. And this is just some Tombow Mono liquid glue. You just want to make sure that you're, and I, you could add the adhesive, excuse me, add the acetate to that and then this to the foam. But since I was already struggling, I was like, I am never going to get this right ever in my life. So that's why I went ahead and did it kind of the hard way rather than the easy way, because the easy way was not working out for me. <laughs> It was, I'm not kidding you, it was really a struggle. This kit is beautiful, but I, I don't know that I would make shakers out of these poinsettia again. Um, I have two more left, and maybe I'll get use out of those. But for them, like, and see here, it really covers up the middle, unless you just put one. And to me, that just didn't look dimensional enough. But at the end of the day, you, um, you are the boss of your shaker, so you get to decide. So for the smaller leaves, I am only putting a drop of glue in the middle of each one. You could also use glue dots for this. You just want something that's going to adhere permanently because glitter paper is really hard to adhere to. So I'm only putting glue in the center of the base as well because I want to be able to pop up those leaves just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put together the purple flower in just about the exact same way as we did the blue. And there you can see I ended up cutting out six poinsettia um, leaves. Are those holly leaves? I don't even know. No, they're leaves. They're just leaves. Yeah, they're just leaves. I ended up cutting out six out of a really pretty sparkly green paper. So you, this is definitely bringing in the sparkle and shine of the holiday of it all. <laughs> So I went ahead and used glue, liquid glue on this again, and I'm just holding it down until it starts to adhere. Um, and that way it's not only adhering the shaker to the card, but it's also um, holding down the other limbs of the flower. Then I'm going to go ahead and get the center of the flower ready to go. And again, I'm going to adhere that down with um, some liquid glue and then I'm going to play with placement of the leaves. Um, I wanted two on each one and um, it took me a couple of minutes to decide on how um, I wanted them in there. That's another reason why I didn't hear the two um, like the purple and the blue ones flat because I knew I was going to want to tuck some leaves in. So I'm adding glue dots to the front and the back of the very inside of the um, leaves. And those are going to go um, on the flower, like go under the flower, but they're going to stick 
to both sides of it. And I toyed with just doing like three, because you guys know I love like odd numbers, but I felt like for this one, it just kind of needed all of the ones that it ended up getting. And hopefully you agree. (laughs) Hopefully you agree with me. So I sewed this down because I had glue everywhere because why wouldn't I? So I have um, an alcohol wipe that I'm going to, oh, I'm going to put the um, bling in the middle first, but I'm going to use an alcohol wipe to wipe off all of the adhesive off of the foil sheet. And this was already adhered to, I want to say this is on a navy card base. It may be on an aqua card base. I honestly can't remember. I made this card base August, whenever I was working on the shaker cards, the Santa shaker cards initially, and that's been a while. So this was kind of just sitting to the side waiting for me to use it. So after I do that to get all of the rogue adhesive off, that's it. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. Don't forget to check out everybody else. Their information is linked in the description box, excuse me, (laughs) the description box down below. Michael, thank you again for inviting me. I cannot wait. This is going to be so much fun. Um, This will be available in the Etsy shop at some point in my life. (laughs) But anyway, guys, I love your faces. Have a good day, night, weekend, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.